You hit on something earlier talking about the resume for Adolfo Mensah uh, coming from the Browns and also the San Francisco 49ers. Because of that relationship he had he had with the 49ers, uh, the most recent news coming from Minnesota, they will be interviewing Jim Harbaugh on Wednesday. Now, why is that significant? It's significant because Jim Harbaugh is the head coach currently for the Michigan Wolverines. National signing day will happen um, tomorrow. Tomorrow, yes, and we're recording this on Tuesday. So when we release this, Harbaugh could be the head coach. We don't know, but that's happening tomorrow. And you don't usually see a collegiate head coach taking an interview the same day they're finalizing their signing day class. So that's an intriguing thing. But yeah. you were a part of the Cardinals during it was your rookie year when Harbaugh was there in San Francisco. What do you remember about the teams that he had in San Francisco when he was head coaching in the league? Oh man, just tough, gritty. Um, there definitely was a team. Pretty much what how San Francisco team is right now. And they're gonna yeah. establish the run. Yeah. They're gonna punch you in the mouth and see how long you can take it. Hey, you never as that. Lie. <laughs> that was a physical bunch, boy. Boy, remember they were that's when they were still playing in Candlestick Park. You, you yes, played the ball, uh, Candlestick oh, yeah. Park. Yeah, that was yeah. a physical bunch, man. They they mm-hmm. played the game differently. Yeah. And I and 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 I think it had a lot to do with that was something that he required, and they were able to execute that as well. Let's look at some of the numbers from Harbaugh in San Francisco. Uh, I mean, he won ball games in four years. He was forty four and nineteen, uh, three NFC championship appearances, one Super Bowl appearance, and they could have easily won that ball game. Mm-hmm. Um, uh, seven seasons at Michigan, he was sixty one and twenty four. Just made. Uh, the college football uh, playoffs for the first time this last year. And I think it's easy for him to leave because he just finally beat Ohio State. I don't think he ever wanted to leave Michigan not beating Ohio State at least one time, Pat P. You feel what I'm saying? Oh, I I, I hear you knocking, Coach. No question. So I felt he like, like, you know what? We didn't win the championship, but I did the next best thing. Finally beat uh, Ohio State. Do you think he'll be a good fit? Or what kind of fit do you think he would be in Minnesota? Um, I think he'll be a great fit. I think he'll... The uh, the culture, you know, the atmosphere he'll buy right into. It. I think he'll love the atmosphere here. Um, you know, I think you know his uh, the, the way he wants the game to be played. It, it resembles um, the state of Minnesota. You know, just tough, <laughs> gritty. Elaborate a little more on that. What you mean by that? Um, you know, just for me, you know how people, you know, always say, you know, I can't live in the cold. I can't do this. You know, it's. It's just different there. You got to be built different, you know, to live mm-hmm. in Minnesota. You know what I mean? And I think, you know, that's something that he can bring, you know, to the table as far as just being different, bringing that, you know, that physical mindset to the to the, to the to the stadium each and every time we step off the bus. Um, and, you know, the, the the crowd, they love that, you know, this, this organization, this this community that, you know, the the stadium, they, they feed off, you know, big plays and, 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 and grinding this football games. And I think, you know, that's something that he can bring to the table. So, yeah. you know, honestly, with the name that's left, you know, he's, you know, I know, you know, some of the coaches that they want, they want somebody that has credibility. They want someone that, you know, that can lead a bunch, uh, a group of men that can get everybody on the same page. And um, get everybody on that, uh, 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 you know, to to have that same common goal, and that's to win a championship. Mm-hmm. You know, and his past history says that. And as far as you know him, he probably has the best resume left yeah. out there for coaches. Yeah, I don't think there's um, another coach that's available that's a contender yeah. to land a head coaching job that has made it to the Super Bowl. Yeah, so I won't. Um, I won't be surprised if he if he's not the coach tomorrow. Yeah. Would you be excited to play for Harbaugh? Yeah, man. Obviously, have an opportunity to, to compete against him. You know. Um, oh, I know he remember you. Yeah, for about four years. I think. Yeah, he was there four years. Right? So, have an opportunity to play. You, you remember? Him. Wait a minute. You remember? You remember any big time plays against Harbaugh coach team in San Fran? Do you have any, remember any picks? Any returns? Anything um, that you can think of? Because I know you used to. You you gave San Fran a lot of work now. Yeah, I had a couple, couple. I mean, I, I do have a memorable moment though against San Fran. Our last game in Candlestick was that Harbaugh. Dropped, yeah, against Harbaugh. Okay, dropped Tell the us about pick. It. Dropped the pick against Randy Moss. Oh, I heard this story. Man, I was pissed, man. So, 
that's the only thing I can like. That's a that's a uh, you know one of the memories I can I can remember right now. Um, you know, I had a couple of big punt returns against them. You know what? The crazy thing about it, I don't have one interception against the, um, against the Forty ers Really? You got to get that on your check your, your checklist. Yep. I don't have one. I got a I got a couple fumble returns and a couple sacks, but I don't uh-huh. have any interceptions. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I can tell you this much. I don't know exactly how the fans feel. And like I said, by the time we release this, we might have more updated information. But Viking fans, let us know your thoughts about potentially hiring Harbaugh. He's from the area, though. He's born in Ohio, played at Michigan, of course, in Indy for the Colts. Uh, he's familiar with that area of the country. And like you said, the thing I love what you hit on with being Minnesota, playing in Minnesota, it fits the the, the culture of the city. You got to be gritty. You mm-hmm. got to kind of be gritty. You know what I mean? And oh, yeah. gritty. <laughs> When you get into the end zone. So, yeah, 44 and 19. That's a very, very impressive resume for a season with the San Francisco 49ers. And what people fail to realize, too, when he jumped, when he got to San Francisco, he revitalized that program. They were they were they were bad. You know, they had just got done with the uh, was it Singletary area era. And then I think he came after that. But he kind of revitalized it and turned that program around instantly. And let's yeah. see exactly what he would have in store. But. Also, one thing about Minnesota, the cupboard is not bare. You got a running back that you can rely on. You got wide receivers. You're going to yep. get an energetic tight end back in Irv Smith. Yep. Uh, you got a quarterback that has experience out of all the jobs that are available. And I'm not just saying this because you are on the show and we do this together every week. But I think Minnesota is the best job. Personnel I agree. I agree. And the uncertainty with the Green Bay Packers. I understand when people say you want to play against the best. Listen, if you're a Viking fans, you want to see Aaron Rodgers leave. It's time to get up out of there. Because <laughs> if he leaves, let's keep it real, Pat P. That division is wide open. Yeah. Wide open. The time is now. 